can see that the fitting is not bad. I can see that the alignment would be a little bit better. and you are watching for love gadgets in this video we will as in myself and you will review the iloft realme 3 pro camera lens protector we'll see if it is worth spending 179 or 200 bucks that it roam around and also is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down without wasting any time let's start the video and once again please do subscribe the channel as you are the fuel hit the bell icon do comment if you have a query let us know let everyone know if this is any good or not. Last but not the least, please share your feedback, share the video and keep watching for the love of gadgets. So let's start. So this is the box in which the screen protector is shipped. And trust me, I'm not sure if it's carrying anything, but generally the weight is so less that you hardly would feel if there's something in the box. But when I shake it, it doesn't make a noise. So let's quickly unpack this and see what do we have inside. Okay. For a second I thought it might be a snake. Shh. Just kidding. Okay. So two things that you get from the box. One, a thank you note from the iLock team on the purchase you have made. Two, the packing itself which contains the screen protector. So let's quickly see what all is in it. I'll keep this aside and I'll quickly unpack and show the stuff. Right. So these are the four things that you'll get in this pack. Wipes which are dry and wet both. You get a dust absorber which can be used in case while applying this protector there sticks some dust onto it so you can remove that with the help of this dust absorber and then instructions as to how to apply this. On this note let's move on to how we will apply this. Now if I have a look at this to me it seems like a little short of the camera section um, but rather than speculate let's try to apply this this is one instruction that the company has missed to pass on to the buyers as to which layer to be peeled and which is to be pasted there is no sort of sticker here i can see a number i can you know call it seven if i turn it around but then i am not really sure which part to be peeled Let's find out as we proceed further. Now let's see if this really fits the camera glass. So if you see, it covers the camera section properly. So the cutout is perfect. So you can see there is definitely some dirt, so I'll clean this off with the wet pipe and then clean it with the dry one. So let's quickly do that. How much difference this makes? So as you can see, there is no dirt here. In order to find out which part to be applied and which to be peeled, try this. So we know what to be applied. So guys because the cutout is so short and there is nothing to hold to the tempered sheet or the screen protector, I have put it onto this dust absorber. I kind of took it off from it and have pasted it here. So the gum side is beneath. I will now try to put it onto the phone camera module. Now in order to place this you first of all have to peel it off like this a little bit so that you get some grip now that you've peeled it off you can try to align it along the camera module once you think you have aligned it like this you can try to take this wrapper off and see if it kinds of pastes nicely 
I think I would just have to forcefully move it a little bit to the right. So I'll just do a close up shot now. So you can see that the fitting is not bad. I can see that the alignment could be a little bit better, which I'll try to do. So I think overall with respect to the camera protection it's nice it has decent thickness as you can see right and I really like that it kind of covered the glass entirely the gap that you can see here it's basically due to the misalignment which I can definitely fix later on guys this is the final look of the screen protector for a second you may not feel like if there is a protector unless you look at the flash where you can see the cutting. It has fit the bezel nicely as you can see. Now that we have the screen protector on, let's do the real test by taking some pictures and making a video. I've got some samples and we'll take some pictures and make a quick video to see how does it works. We'll check how is the color reproduction as well. So friends, here is our final take on the I loved Realme 3 Pro screen protector. Number one, price. On the price front, I'm not happy because they've just provided you one NOS. At least there could have been two pieces of this which would have been beneficial. Two, the taping is not given so you have to really identify which side to put on. Also, you have to use the dust remover because it's really difficult once you peel it off. So try the method which I showed you. Three. From fit and finish perspective, I am really happy because it fitted the camera module very nicely and two, it did not impact the camera clarity or the video clarity which is the most important thing. Four, uh, I would really suggest this because at this point of time there is hardly anything available in offline market and online I think this is the only option in fact I was able to get when I searched it. Uh, the thickness is also good it stick to the module very nicely so gum is effective as well and when you move it or you try to uh, set the alignment right don't put too much of pressure just put some bit of pressure so that you could see it gliding and trust me there would not be any you know uh, problem that you would face so on that note this is it for this video hope you have liked it please do subscribe the channel hit the uh, bell icon and also if you have a comment let us know also what do you think how would you rate it three four three and a half five whatever do let me know and also share your feedback share this video with your friends and family because you are the fuel and once you subscribe it keeps us motivated and keep motivating so on that note i'll take a sign off wishing you guys a happy weekend take care and jai hind